Hi, I'm Darcy from Z Digitizing. In this video, I will show you how to remove jump and trim from your embroidery. So let's get started. Before we continue, guys, please make sure to subscribe to this channel for any upcoming videos. Step one, open the Wilcom application and open up your required design, which you want to fix. Once it is loaded on your Wilcom, you can start working on it. Step two, note both cutter and trim are the same things, but in Wilcom, it is addressed as trim. Move the stitch cursor in Start by choosing the option from the left toolbar. After that, click on the Travel by Trim icon. You can also use Alt plus right arrow or Alt plus left arrow key on your keyboard. After selecting the Travel by Trim option, your design will let you walk through it by jumps and trims. Step 3. By doing this manually, all you have to do is to place the end of your object or the letter close to the start of your second object or the letter. Go to the toolbar and select the reshape tool. You can also use a shortcut key by pressing H on your keyboard. It will take you to the reshape mode where you can reshape your object with several anchor points. After placing the end of your letter at the start of the second letter, your jump and trim would be removed. To ensure that, click on travel by trim again and you will notice the change. Another way of eliminating jump and trim. You can also remove the jump and trim by another and fast way. Step 1. Select your whole design, and from the above toolbar select Apply Closest Join, or simply press Ctrl plus J. This will make every object close to each other, resulting in removing the jump and trim issue. But of course, if you find out that your design file only has jump and trim issue in a few of the letters of the objects, then you do not have to select your whole design. And in that case, doing it manually will be more suitable and time-saving. And if the jump and trim issue remains with all of your objects, then go for the automatic option. Step 2. After you are done, it is important to ensure that you have achieved the desired results. Move your stitch cursor at the start and then select Travel by Trim again. And now you will notice that your design is running as a whole and jump and trim has been eliminated. And that is about it. You have successfully removed the jumps and trims from your design. Now you can save it and use it on your machine. If you need a DST file or if you want any more information, just head over to Z Digitizing. Watch our tutorial video on how to make your design and applique properly. Hope it will be helpful for you guys. If you are looking for quality digitizing services, then head over to Z Digitizing and claim your first month free digitizing offer before it's gone. If there's any questions related to this video, you can simply ask in the comment section. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And finally, thanks for watching.